one of the coolest features of our New Line boards is the annotation feature. So if you're showing students something that you would like them to whiteboard over the top of, maybe a math problem, or in this case, we have a sentence that has something interesting happening in it. You can actually have students write on this if you use the annotation tool. So from the toolbar, the top image that looks like the computer with a pencil, that's the annotation. If you touch it once, it's taking basically a screenshot. So you'll see on the bottom of the new line board, I have some options. So the whiteboard is the first, the select arrow is the second, then we have the pencil tool. So if I wanted to start writing, I can click it again to change the color. So the question is, what do you notice? Oh, look at the word not. So they can start circling and doing those kinds of things. Um, we have the highlighter tool again, the lasso or free form tool, the eraser, so erase by stroke, and the clear annotation. So if you want to clear everything, you can do that as well. And of course, there's the undo and redo buttons. The next is a screenshot. So we can hit that and it will take a screenshot. You can choose to resize. You can duplicate onto a whiteboard. Or the final option is just to download what's on the screen. So we can save the screenshot to pictures, say with FC, the mail isn't gonna work, and APK Pure, I haven't played around. So if I click Save with FC, because I'm logged into my Google Drive, I can choose that, find my drive, find my new line folder that I'm going to make visible to anybody, click OK, and it will save that PNG file into my Google Drive. And this helpful hint is telling me you can also long press to take a screenshot directly. Got it. And I wrote. So we have the little person here again if you want to sign into a different account. And we have the little settings cog down here. So again, we have the option to write with fine pen only or write with fine pen and fingers. You have the option to have the action hints on and you can turn the auto screenshot on or off. It's kind of nice to leave it on because when you do that, if I touch this annotation button again, it takes a screenshot. Now you're gonna ask, where did that go? Let's go to home and your file viewer. The fastest way to get there is to click on pictures. It's somewhere in your internal storage and that was an option, but it's just faster to go to internal storage and there it is. If we click the three dots, you can rename the file, you can move it, copy it, cut it, delete it, open it as something else, share, zip, add to favorites, so you would, if you click on that share button, again, you can save with FC and you're able to save it into your Google Drive or wherever it needs to be. So that is a very brief overview of the annotation tool.